I know. I want to add a chorus. This will be cool. So I'm going to go here. First, I'm going to pull up a new track. And I want to get stereo again. And I want to get two stereo tracks. I want to get two auxiliaries. And we got them right there, right? This is perfect. And so next, I want to get some new assignments. So I'm going to go right here to bus, a new A. I'm going to go to 3, 4. And then here, I want to go to 5, 6. So I'm going to assign a couple things here. So right here, I'll go to here, my multi, and I want to probably get something here. I want to get this like chorus thing going on. This might be good. A little chorus. Yep, it appears right there as it loads in. Let's see, what kind of chorus am I get here? Something that's not too big. We've got a lot of chorus choices here. So I'm going to get maybe a slow stereo chorus going on. That might be kind of cool. And so now I can go over here to my O. I can call this the chorus. Put it there. And of course, our subgroups are already left and right. Chorus right there. That's labeled. I'll press OK. Well, now I've got my chorus in there, and the chorus is right here. So uh, I got the chorus going on. I pulled the chorus in here, I've labeled this chorus, it's coming here, and it's going to be pre for this demonstration. Yeah, boy. I'm going to bring it up and blend it in. So I've got that happening. So you can see we made a send. Uh, we've got two sends going on here. We're going to make a third one now. We're going to go here. We're going to go to bus. Of course, we're going to bus menu A. And we're going to go to bus 5 and 6. Now I've got 5 and 6 going to my next auxiliary. It's always good to label these things so you know what's going on. So I'm going to go back here. And we'll label that one chorus. And this one's going to be my delay. A long delay. Abbreviate a little bit right there. I've got my long delay right there. And so I've got that assigned. So I want to go back to my IO setup here. Here's IO. And I want to make sure I label this too. And this is going to be long delay. And it's in there. Now I'll press OK. And now you see it's right there. So I've got the long delay going on. I've got this. That's a pre-fader. This is pre-fader. And we've got my long delay here. I want to make this pre-fader as well. I go down to here. And we yeah, So we can hear the chorus and we can hear the delay. I mean the reverb. Now I hear the delay. So you get the idea. And that's how we can use our I.O. setup. And we label where our sends are going and we know what's happening. And what's important to know here in the I.O. setup too as well, I'll go back here, is that I have it set up for each session. So I have a different I.O. for every session I do. Obviously, not every session is going to have one and two is going to be my delay or my chorus or reverb. So I make sure I put down what's going to be. So for example, that's not actually delay. This is going to be, this is a reverb. So I'm going to put down verb. Make sure that's right. So sometimes I have to go back in. I make a mistake. You want to fix it. And so I make sure here I have this checked. Sessions, overwrite, current I.O. when open. So it's going to overwrite that session or the I.O. setup when a new session comes in. This way, each session has its own I.O. setup, which is what I prefer to run. And there you go. So now it says reverb, chorus, lawn delay, and we've got our verb, chorus, lawn delay. And we use our IO setup to label these sends.